We will discuss here capacitors connected in parallel. First, we will take three parallel connected capacitors as shown here. Let us assume that C1, C2 and C3 are the capacitance of the capacitors respectively. Here the source will get three parallel paths to pass current. Due to the current through capacitor of capacitance C1, finally charge accumulated in it is Q1. Similarly, due to the current through capacitor of capacitance C2, finally charged accumulated in it is Q2. And due to the current through capacitor of capacitance C3, finally charge accumulated in it is Q3. If the voltage of the source is V, then Q1 equals to V into C1 or Q2 equals to V into C2 or Q3 equals to V into C3. Now total charge accumulated in the system will be Q equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Which implies that Q equals VC1 plus VC2 plus VC3 equals V into C1 plus C2 plus C3. If we assume equivalent capacitance is C, then total charge Q will be V into C. From these two equations, we can get C equals to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Hence, capacitance of all capacitors connected in parallel will be just added to get equivalent capacitance of the parallel combination. This can also be justified in another way. Here we can find that the plate areas of the capacitors are added when we connect the capacitors in parallel. The formula of capacitance of a capacitor is C equals to epsilon 0 epsilon r into A by D, where A is the plate area of the capacitor and D is the distance between two opposite plates in the capacitor. We can see here, the capacitance is directly proportional to plate area of the capacitor. Hence, the total capacitance, therefore, gets added up when more than one capacitor are connected in parallel. Hope you got a clear idea.